Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. My fellow Americans, good evening. With last ball's bitter recount behind us, my Democratic opponent, Howard Dean, finally getting the medical attention he is so desperately needed for so long. We move forward as a nation. Some say is more divided than ever before. As president, I hereby promise you, the American people, four years or more of commander-in-chief excellence. Not a moment too soon. After just two years of a Democrat Congress, America's international reputation is a shambles. Our economy teeters on the brink of collapse. And Cindy Sheehan's cross-country shooting spree still fresh in our memories. Still, be of good cheer, my friends. America's best days are still ahead of her, now that the grown-ups are back in charge. Yes, Rosemary? Mr. President, the Vice President is here. Oh, great. Send the Vice President in, please. Mr. President? Madam Vice President, welcome to the Oval Office. Great column this week. Thank you. You, uh, um, like to join me in a cigar? Isn't the White House a smoke-free zone? Not anymore. <laughs> yes, Rosemary? Mr. President, Nancy Pelosi, on line one. Pelosi? How did she get this number? Well, take a message. And now, my fellow Americans, stay tuned to the half-hour news hour coming up next right here on the Fox News Channel. And if you don't, we'll invade your countries, kill your leaders, and convert you to Christianity. Easy, Mr. President. Vice President. Good night. God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. And us.